Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today I have a bit of a different style of video from what I usually do. And we're going to be getting um, my tractors ready for the show that's coming up uh, next week. The uh, Puget Sound Antique Tractor Machinery Show, which is happening August 4th through 7th this year, 2021. So it's currently July 20th, and I think it's like 27th. So I have a couple days left. So my other tractor, I just have to go over everything, show you what I did to mount some flags. And then right here, my garden tractor, my 317 John Deere. We need to take my mower deck off of there and then put the blade and tiller back on, which hopefully we're going to try to do tonight and maybe a bit in tomorrow. So first thing I'm going to do is push my quad out of the way. That way I have more work, uh, work room. And then I'll back the 317 into the middle. So I'm just going to put it in the middle so it's a bit easier to work on. quick while I have it running I'll show you what our problem is throttles not responding so something's stuck in there so we'll have to fix that again it happens fairly often and like I said we'll take the deck off and then here later on we will go and um, Put the tiller on the back and the plow on the front. Okay, so go ahead and open this up. Make it a bit <clears throat> easier to work on and take the air cleaner off. I've had to do this multiple times. I think I might have found part of the problem just now. <clears throat> the end of here is rubbing. Always good for it. Of course, dust. Go ahead it this to the side pull that off then see so now it's sticking like that so I think first thing I'm gonna do loosen this bolt up which I believe was So, we'll go ahead and loosen this up, <clears throat> as soon as I grab the right side. One side's off, I think. There we go. So, loosen this bolt up over here on this arm. And then... Grab these guys, and I'm going to take the governor arm right here, this little round piece, I don't know if you can see, see, maybe loosen this up a bit more, and then, push this all the way in, and then, I have to somehow, the spin, the governor, hold it there, Keep that right there, and for some reason it's not wanting to stay. Let's see, why would that be? <coughs> Let me try loosening this a bit to make sure that it. There we go. Let's go ahead, hold that. Didn't work, did it? Maybe a quarter. 
There we go. Oh, darn it. That's not good, is it? That is not good at all. This is not going well. So it's a bit later in the day now, as you can tell. And haven't worked on this anymore. I went and asked a couple places to see what could be wrong with it because honestly, I don't really know. Uh, this has been happening quite frequently. So I went and asked them, it's been a while and no one said anything yet, although it's pretty late, so kind of expecting that. So, figured take the deck off. I don't need it running for that. And so, and also see if we can find my socket that I dropped down in there, which is going to be a lot of fun to find. Really a lot of fun. So, first things first is loosen up the belt tension. There we go. So, this belt in here is sort of loose. I've never had the best luck. Then, real quickly, I can just go under here, pop it off of this pulley, and there. Now, that bottom belt is done, done. So, now that that's undone, I undid the belt from there. I just come here, take this. Try to do it one handed, which is really hard. So, set it down like that. And go like that. Now, all that we do is come over to this side. And do the exact same thing. So apparently I wasn't videoing that when I took the rest of this off, which is just lovely, but anyways, it's off. So all I did was pull these doohickeys right here, took off some cotter pins back here, pulls right out. And then, let's see, and there we go. So. Now we just have a tractor that is ready to hook up to the plow and to the uh, tiller. So if you would like a video of how to uh, take this doohickey thing, um, mower on and off, how to do all that, let me know and I can do a video. So we'll see you tomorrow morning when we go hopefully get this all fixed and hopefully put the plow, the tiller on with no problems. Fingers crossed. So, now that the deck is off, I can crawl under here, get my socket, which is laying right there, as well as a bolt that I dropped uh, a while back. So, just take the impact, wrong end on, there's that, pop this one on. Again, it's kind of hard to do one-handed, especially when you're laying underneath this. So, let's see, reverse, and then hopefully I could just take these front two off. See, there's my socket right there. See, and then there's that nut that I dropped last time. So glad to have that back. So, there we go. Now, I'll just put this back on. And, I guess we'll see you guys tomorrow. 
quick tip if you're ever under a 317 or 18 or 16 or 300 series taking this off don't go to lift your head straight up is this hurts a lot to hit your head on which I've done four times already and I've been underneath this thing for like two minutes Sure, I'll do it again after this when I go to get up. Well, it's a couple days later, as you can tell, about two days. I kind of got it fixed. Um, I can't really idle up right now, but it's good enough to go hook everything up. And we'll work on it some more. So, I'm going to head off to the barn now, get the plow and tiller hooked up. As you can see, the uh, throttle isn't doing much, but oh well. I might fix it before the show happens. We'll see. So it's hardly moving at all, but it's all hooked up. I think it's done the right way. But as you can see, it's just hard. To move. It goes down just fine. So I think that it might be maybe low on hydraulic oil. Part of it's probably gets kind of a denial, but I can't really fix that at the moment. So it kind of needs some um, help. Yeah, you can mean, I'm barely doing anything and it's doing that, so I guess it probably needs hydraulic fluid or some other stuff, but I'm not going to use it too much. It's just on here for the show. And then it comes back off to put the mower deck back on. So, Oh, I'll do a little and connect this. So, see, I need to pull this out.
you just have to go like that. And like that. And then we'll go up to the house and I have the lock up there. That way it doesn't go down. So for now it's just going to be finger tight. And let's see if it lifts it. See, let me move you guys back. And drop you on the floor. Raise you up some. There we go. Let's see, let right, you guys look at that. Okay. So here's your cutter control, cutting height control. Back here, we're gonna put this piece on. So let's see if I can remember how. So I make sure it's facing this way. Then I'll slide this through. And hopefully this will be long enough. It's just barely going to if it is. Unless I drop it. Okay. Take my nut here. Finger tight. Take this one. Go through like that. That one finger tight. Now, see, I don't need an extension. So. They don't need to be super tight, so. That should be plenty. So, see that one we're just gonna leave like that. Yeah, we'll just leave that one. Even if that one fell off, it wouldn't move because of this. Or, oh, I guess it would. So maybe I should tighten it. Go around, actually. I don't think that you can see this, but... I'm just tightening that bolt. This arm back here. 